what's up everybody welcome to CR Indie Designers this is Chetan and in this tutorial we are going to learn the quick modeling tricks so without further ado let's get started to make the model you need to add icosphere so shift a add icosphere and we will go with the two subdivision after that you need to add subd modifier on it and then apply that subd modifier with the one viewport level okay the next thing you need to select the words like this you can see then you need to press shift G and amount of adjacent faces it will select the similar words and then control X to dissolve these words same thing you need to do with this word also select these words shift G amount of adjacent faces then control X to dissolve the words so now you need to select the, this type of words and then you need to press shift G amount of adjacent faces and then it will select all such types of words and then you need to press ctrl x to dissolve it then press a to select everything and then go to the face mode and then you need to use the insert operation at here so use the insert operation and give the proper thickness i will go with the 0.05 and then you need to add subd modifier on this icosphere you need to keep that subd modifier on simple and viewport level will be 2 then you need to apply that subd modifier with the 2 viewport level and then you will get more geo on the model as like this next thing you need to add one more time the sub d modifier so just add that sub d modifier and increase its level up to 2 and then you can share smooth it and now you will get this kind of model which looks very good the next thing we want to make a boolean on it to do that i need to select the words and then shift g amount of adjacent words and then increase that selection with the control plus and then go to the face mode and now just you need to do the one thing you need to deselect these faces like this with a cross selection after that you need to use the loop tool so right click and then loop tool and then circle option and then you need to use the insert operation at there so use the small insert operation and make sure that individual origin should be off and give the right thickness amount for the insert operation like this then you need to use the insert operation one more time and then you need to press alt s and then use the insert operation one more time and then you can select these face loops or you can keep it as it is and if you want more sharpness at there then you need to select these face loops with the shift select so you can see now i have selected these face loops after that i just need to use the insert operation one more time at there to make those edges more harder and now you can see it's look decent in this way we can create this kind of model it can be something sci-fi it can be the mechanical part it can be the abstract you can create anything from this design as per your creativity so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye see so the next video take care